Why has a chilly island in the North Atlantic become a crucial frontier in the occult, high-stakes world of cryptocurrency mining? An unremarkable-looking cluster of sheds on the western cluster of the Nordic nation might just hold the answer. So join us today as we follow the money and take a peek inside Iceland's insane Bitcoin supermine. About a decade ago, the first proper real-world Bitcoin transaction took place when one Laszlo Hanyex infamously purchased two hot and juicy Papa John's pizzas for 10,000 Bitcoins. Those 10,000 coins were only worth, at the time, around $40. Delicious as the pizzas no doubt were, if he'd only kept hold of those bitcoins, they'd by now be worth somewhere north of $280 million. Created by a shadowy, mysterious figure, or perhaps group, going by the name of Satoshi Nakamoto, Bitcoin is one of a number of cryptocurrencies that are created via computer processes which use raw mathematics and sheer computational horsepower to underwrite the value of transactions. As opposed to conventional monetary systems, which are backed by central banks, cryptocurrencies rely on the mathematical certitude of a decentralized ledger known as a blockchain. Cryptocurrencies are ingeniously summoned into being by a process of so-called mining. Instead of shovels and pickaxes, modern-day cryptocurrency miners simply require an internet-linked computer that can solve or hash big number problems which are then added to the blockchain. Back in the day, crypto pioneers could run humble mining operations on home laptops, extracting coins almost as a background process, for instance, while they slept. Fast forward to today, however, and that sort of amateur setup simply doesn't cut it anymore. Vast server farm style operations have sprung up around the world to take advantage of what many have described as a modern day gold rush. One such operation is situated within a series of ordinary looking sheds by an abandoned World War II airstrip on a sprawling former US Air Force base near Keflavik Airport in the west of Iceland. Inside the 400 square meter sheds are shelves and shelves of whirring computers, reportedly as loud when they're running in full flow as a jet engine taking off. And they're always running working hard to crack the next code and acquire the next precious cryptocurrency bounty ahead of competition all over the world. Its rivals are everywhere, literally wherever there's an internet connection, but most notably in places like Russia, China, Canada, Venezuela and the United States. Every 10 minutes, roughly, a prize of six and a quarter bitcoins is released and someone somewhere will get lucky. The more computer power you have on your side, naturally, the luckier you're likely to get. This Icelandic operation, called Enigma and run by eight-year-old cryptocurrency bigwigs Genesis, was established in 2014. The last time journalists paid a visit, in 2018, there were tens of thousands of individual computers working flat out around the clock mining coins. Each of the many thousands of identical units boasted its own fan, and the ceiling of the sheds were supported by six giant ceiling turbines that were 24-7 with the combined mechanical force of 260 washing machines. This constant cool airflow is essential to keep the computational hardware at optimal working temperatures. That's because any burnout or interruption to the mining process literally costs money, with individual coins trading at many hundreds of dollars. Potentially, millions are at stake, so for the technicians overseeing the Enigma facility, failure really isn't an option. The electricity bills at Enigma reportedly run to more than a million dollars a month, and with each computing unit costing a few thousand dollars to buy and install, there's tens of millions of pounds in assets humming away constantly. No wonder security is tight, not least since a major spree of thefts a couple of years back saw some two million dollars of crypto mining tech taken from their rightful owners in a series of raids around Iceland. It's worth looking at these computers in detail, because they're actually a far cry from the standard PCs you use at home or work. Instead, each unit consists of a mainboard, and into each mainboard is plugged six GPUs, or graphics processing units. Crypto mining experts have found that these GPUs are far more efficient at the kind of lightning-fast number crunching required to solve those all-important hashing problems. Take a market standard GPU like a Radeon brand HD5970. It can execute some 3,200 32-bit instructions per clock. That's 800 times more than the speed of a regular CPU or central processing unit that executes only four 32-bit instructions per clock. Logistically, getting hold of the many thousands of GPUs has proven tough, particularly in a competitive marketplace. So companies like Genesis frequently order direct from the manufacturer, even insisting on modifications to the boards in order to improve efficiency and manage costs at scale. For their Enigma facility in Iceland, Genesis have also created a dedicated smart hardware monitoring software known as Genesis Hive. 
This is important. If part of your giant mining system goes down, you really don't want to be personally going around each of the tens of thousands of computers, all of them with six GPUs, your soldering iron and screwdriver in hand, to identify that one annoying dodgy wire. The Hive software also makes recommendations for firmware updates and keeps an eye on those all-important temperatures, advising when a region of the facility is drifting outside agreed tolerances. Genesis set up their Enigma facility in Iceland partly because the temperatures are low, rarely going above 57 degrees Fahrenheit. Imagine trying to cool all that processing power in the middle of a desert. Indeed, some Genesis competitors have argued it's possible, in places like Texas where regulations are lax and energy is cheap. But nonetheless, it's very hard to imagine the facilities running at anything like optimal efficiency using the technology we have to hand today. Because all that processing is indeed a power-hungry business, and Iceland's cheap and abundant hydroelectric and, to a lesser extent, geothermal energy is an important factor in why the Enigma facility is situated here of all places. The wholesale electricity cost is relatively cheap, which is handy when you consider that, according to some expert estimates, the Enigma plant consumes more juice than all the homes in Iceland put together. In light of the long shadow the industry casts over the Nordic nation, it's perhaps fortunate that Iceland is also receptive to the crypto industry from a political standpoint. Since the country was nigh on bankrupted by financial services overreach during the 2008 credit crunch, it's been seen as a welcoming place for innovative new tech industries just like Bitcoin. However, the power-hungry nature of the mining business isn't to everybody's taste. Environmentalists in particular feel that cryptocurrency mining's insatiable appetite for electricity will lead to more rivers being dammed and more damage to Iceland's pristine wilderness. So what does the future hold? It's estimated that the last of Bitcoin's strictly limited run of 21 million coins will have been mined by around the year 2140. That inbuilt scarcity matters, by the way, if the currency is to appreciate in value. So Iceland, with its cool climate, cheap power and largely receptive political scene, looks likely to be a major player for some time yet. Meaning more pizza-loving folks like Laszlo Harnyex could yet exploit the crypto mining boom. And if they're lucky, this time make an honest crust.